I created a skincare routine for the one and only John Cena. Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every week. Joanna Sedia. If you don't know who Joanna Sedia is, um, you need help and you need to search her name on YouTube right away because she is my number one, my number one YouTuber. I, I honestly came to that conclusion a few weeks ago. I was like, yep, she is it. She claims the crown. Joanna's honestly like the Pablo Picasso of YouTube, a little strange, a little bizarre. Some people don't really understand her work, but she truly creates video masterpieces. Every time I watch her videos, I am literally laughing out loud, which is rare because usually I reserve a special part of my depression specifically for the internet. She really is one of those YouTubers that when you stumble across her videos, you're like, oh my gosh, she's incredible. She reminds me of the old YouTube. I'm 99% sure that I am the only person in the world who finds this funny. And then you look at her subscriber count and you see that it's 2.2 million and you're like, but chances are if you clicked on this video, you know exactly who she is. And I am excited to say that I have created a skincare routine for her. And as a skincare specialist, nothing excites me more than creating skincare routines for people. So let's get into the skincare routine that I created for Joan Rivers. So in one of Joanna's most recent videos, she talks about her daily routine as a high school student. And at the very end, she blessed my little heart by showing what her skincare routine is. And while I was so happy to see what she revealed, what it was, it was also pretty lackluster. And it's time for me to get my skincare routine on. Now, everyone's always asking me what my skincare routine is, and I feel like they're expecting some Mario Badescu type of stuff, but let me tell you, that ain't it, sis. Preach, bitch. Drag Mario Badescu. Drag her. You see, I have a little something called eczema, and I've had it ever since I was three years old, and I still complain about it. Because as she explains in the video, she has eczema, or at least that's how she pronounced it. I've usually just pronounced it like, Eczema. I don't, f it. I don't I don't know how to say it. Everyone says it differently. But according to the Mayo Clinic, eczema is a condition that makes your skin itchy and red. Wow, that description is quite moving. Truly the epitome of medical terminology. It makes your skin red itchy. If you want to see what my solutions to eczema are, feel free to go to the link in the description box below. I talk about it all in that video. But basically, there are three main types of eczema, and I'm assuming Joanna suffers from atopic eczema, which is basically where your skin gets really flaky, dry, itchy, irritated. The best of the best, truly. And I can empathize with her because I used to have eczema, and it is quite the B I C T H. And it's not fun. Coming from the very dry climate of Arizona, I used to get it all over my hands and they would crack and bleed in the winter time. So if that isn't my Tinder bio, I don't know what is. Now, when I was analyzing her situation, I kind of find two main reasons that would probably contribute to why her eczema is so bad. The first being that she lives in Canada, which is a really cold and dry climate. I mean, obviously it's Canada. It's fucking freezing there. I have no idea how people survive. And cold, dry weather really contributes to eczema. But hey, it's Canada, not the USA. I'd rather have eczema than racists. This message was brought to you by the political campaign for Hiram Chelsea Chelsea. The second thing I found is that she is a regular pool swimmer. If you've watched some of her videos, you know that she swims on the daily and she goes to a lot of swim meets. And she's not swimming outside in lakes or rivers, she's swimming inside in chlorine impacted pool, which for the skin is terrible because if you don't know, chlorine damage is a real thing. Chlorine tends to strip the skin of its natural oils, thereby throwing off the natural pH balance and hydration level of the skin. So no fucking wonder. <laughs> Wow. Having these two contributors in mind, I have created a skincare routine for Joanna to work in addition to the products that she already uses. If any of you guys do struggle with eczema as well, you may benefit from the skincare routine that I've created. So um, get out your notebooks, bitches. Hopefully my suggestions will help. If not, fuck me. Now in her video, she says that she currently uses two things. First, she uses prescription cortisol from the doctor, specifically the dermatologist. And I am not even going to question the views or opinions of a industry professional dermatologist because who the fuck am I to do so? I mean, obviously a skincare YouTuber is more knowledgeable than someone who went to school for 10 years. I mean, obvi. She also uses the CeraVe moisturizing cream. Now, when you look through a lot of recommendations online for people with eczema, a big tip is to put on moisturizer before you go into the swimming pool. But if her skin really is as sensitive as she says, that shit is gonna inflame her skin faster than you can say she bought her subscribers. <laughs> 
And so my skincare routine is recommendations for after she has exposed her skin to the pool. As I'm talking about the products in the skincare routine, I want to let you know that all the links for the products are in the description box below. Some of them are affiliate links because your boy is trying to get out of the 50 hour work week that I'm currently stuck in. I love capitalism. So if you do want to help, shop the links below. The first thing that Jilly Kyla should do after she swims is to immediately rinse off afterwards. It's not good to leave the chlorine impacted water on top of your skin because it's only going to further irritate and aggravate her skin. But my recommendation is to bring a cleanser along with you to use while you're rinsing off, specifically the vitamin C cleanser by Face Theory, because vitamin C serves as an amazing ingredient to offset the stripping effects of chlorine within the skin. And in addition, it's an amazing antioxidant for the skin to help protect against environmental damage that could irritate your skin even more. This cleanser is also formulated with a plethora of really, really hydrating oils, which is gonna be needed since your skin is so dry from the pool. And this product is also formulated with a lot of irritating ingredients like fragrance or other things that could possibly irritate her skin even more. After cleansing the skin, go in with your CeraVe moisturizing cream, Joanna, because that's a good one, not gonna lie, I am a fan. And slather that shit all over your face right afterwards because you're going to want to make sure that your skin is hydrated up in this bitch. You got a good one, Justin Kutcher, stay with it. Another product that I recommend she uses at least once a week is the First Aid Beauty Collodial Oatmeal Mask. It is no secret within the eczema community that collodial oatmeal is amazing for the skin, and I personally think it's a much better way of taking care of your skin than sitting in a bathtub up with uh, oats because that's not real cute. This mask is extremely highly rated among people who do have eczema, like it almost has a five star on sephora.com. And in addition, it's not too high price point of a product because from what I can tell from Joanna, she no like spend money. So this is the perfect product for you to use like once or twice a week. And then for her final step of her skincare routine, she likes to use Vaseline on her lips, which I mean, you do you boo, I don't know what to say. And yeah, that's it for the routine. I'm even surprised by how simple it is. Honestly, with how irritated she says her skin gets, it's a really good idea to start just with a simple, simple skincare routine. I think it'd be good for Jalbert Kynstein to add a few products onto her routine, but you know, whatever she wants. Honestly, I just made this video for fun. I meant no disrespect to Joanna Sadia. I truly just want to help people improve their skin, and I think it's a fun way of doing it. If she saw this video, my gay ass would actually like, um, physically leave my body and levitate towards space. But you know, I can't have everything. If you did like this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Leave a request down below for which YouTuber you think I should make a skincare routine for next. I know some of you guys are saying Antonio Garza and honestly, I agree. But I wanna hear you guys' thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching.